everyone, I'm Jenna and welcome to my living room decor makeover. If you're wondering what that sound is, it's my dog Diesel. He's right here being a little sooky baby as per usual. Guys, he hasn't been well. He's had a really bad type of gastro and it took him a little over a week to recover so that's where I've been. Anyway, before we get right into the video, I thought I would give you a little bit of a look at what my living area was like before I started. So I'll insert that for you now. Okay, so the first thing that I did, I'm pretty sure was change the floor rug. So before we had this like brown natural jute rug on the floor in here it was a two by three meter and it was from ikea so i can link that one for you because i absolutely love it but because this l-shaped lounge is so huge it just wasn't big enough for the area but the new rug that i've chosen it's like a moroccan style with sort of a diamond pattern on it and it's in a very light cream color and it has just really brightened up the whole space so Kyle and I are both super happy with it. And the size, if you're wondering, is three by four meters. On the website, I will say all of the like lines of the diamonds did actually look like they were black, but in real life, they are a very dark charcoal gray. Okay, so the next thing that Kyle helped me with was he unboxed the coffee table and helped bring it into the lounge. The stone top is super heavy. Ugh. I would not have been able to do that. Oh, you're scaring me. Don't use a knife. Is it wrapped in cardboard? Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, I, <laughs> I thought that was going to be like the grand reveal. Ooh. Yeah, that is nice. Kind of looks nice Don't say that. <laughs> Why do we need to put it on something like that? No. Can we just can we not just put that on the rug in the okay. lounge? Okay. That is so nice. Uh, this is pretty much what it looks like in the before. Come here. Do we need to do this upside down so we can screw it on? How does it? How does it just sit? Oh. I think these planks of wood sit in between, so it can't slide. Oh. I think it oh. actually just sits on them. Oh. Got a splinter. Yeah, I've just got a metal splinter in my finger. Oh, everybody needs to see my metal splint. <laughs> <laughs> no one can see it because it's just focusing on like... Me. Yeah. There it is. Everybody look at that in the side of my pinky finger. You okay? Is it It's a little bit. Can you see it? Yeah. You should be able to get it out. It's like a chunk. Oh, yeah. Oh. should be able to get it out. That's so dangerous. Oh, no. I'll just leave it. Go get the tweezers. I just broke it. Go get the tweezers. But we need to put the table down. Alright, well... What are we going to do with this frame? It's going to hurt people. It's not. We'll wipe it down. Let me just bring it over. We should really move. Yeah. Okay, we might just turn the side over. Oh, that heater is so hot now. Yeah. It's okay, Diesel. I'll just. Woo! The iPad. It's okay, Diesel. You stay there. I'll just go around you. This book is going in the bin, by the way. Okay. I'm trying this again after getting a splinter. Do you need me to help? Yeah. 
Oh, good helping, Diesel. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. It's really just a shame about the damage on it. Be careful. You scared me. I think we need to is. give it a wipe, don't we? Yeah. It's probably dusty. It looks so good. That looks way better. Oh, I love it. But let me show you guys. It's a little bit damaged. It won't focus. Maybe if I put my... Oh, yes, Diesel. I know. You love attention. We've all worked this out. Stop. <laughs> He's pushing up my hand, so I'll pat him. Is it damaged? Or is it just like an imperfection? Let's go with that. I think it's... I think it is damaged, but it's like solid stone. There we go. Finally focusing now. Yeah. Just that little, like, chip out of it there. Which is a shame. But I did get it on sale. And overall, it looks amazing. Dog included. I will say it's probably not the highest quality of finish. The edges are either chipped or just, I don't know, there's a lot of roughness around the edges, I think. And the other thing that we noticed is when we're sitting on the couch and kind of looking straight down at the coffee table, we can see that it, the stone has not been cut perfectly straight. I'm really sorry if you can hear Diesel. He is snoring, he does like to nap throughout the day. He's 12 now. So you might have noticed that I have lots of new cushions. I actually ordered them online from Target and Adairs. Actually, the only one that came from Adairs is this one here because I was able to find Target dupes of the other cushions I like. So there's like a neutral creamy colored one. I'm still waiting for the feather inserts for these. I ordered 45 by 45 centimeter ones, which is what the Target website says the dimensions of this cushion are. However, when I put them in, there was still quite a lot of room in the top. So I took them back and exchanged them for 50 by 50s. And we're just waiting for those to be delivered to our house as they needed to be ordered from the warehouse or something, the lady said. They don't keep them in the store. But yeah, exchanging was really easy there. It was good. So yeah, I have three of these. And then I believe this one from Target, the color is called Chipmunk. It's not the mustard, it's like a darker sort of color, but I really love it together with this pink and it has a 50 by 50 centimeter feather insert which was from Adairs on sale and the cover is some type of linen and then I also have the rust color linen cushions from Target as well. This one here is Belgian vintage washed linen in the Home Republic brand. It is 40 by 60 centimeters in the color nude pink. I absolutely love this color. It's so pretty. You can definitely see a difference in quality between the Adairs and the Target cushions. Um, this one was on sale. I can't remember how much it was, but I will link all of these cushions below for you. And the insert was also sold separately from Adairs. And guys, my number one tip with cushions is if you really like that sort of uh, karate chop look you need to get feather inserts all of the ones from Target actually came with the polyester fill inserts but you won't get the same plumpness or the ability to be able to like karate chop them which I really like I had a little go at trying to style the coffee table just with pieces that I already had. I don't really have that many coffee table books. I have ordered some more online so I can definitely show you maybe in my next video or maybe in the video where I do like a reveal of our dining area. But yeah, I've just chosen the ones that I thought looked best for now. There's a little round wooden tray that I actually got from H&M Home. The money plant is a pup from our big money plant. So I have put it into a terracotta pot and I'm hoping that it will survive here. Oh, and the agate 
Agate, I think is how you say it. Coasters are actually from West Elm. They're really pretty. They were quite expensive. The only thing was I thought they were going to be gold around the edges like the ones that you see on Instagram, but that's fine. I still really like them. This L-shaped lounge we kept. We've had this for almost three years and it was from West Elm. I'm pretty sure they don't have it anymore. I am really sorry, but I will try and link one that is similar because they do tend to do the modular lounges all the time. We do have um, two of these white planters on a stand. The stand is completely the wrong tone of wood. So I had actually planned to order two of the mid-century style planters from Adair's. Basically, they are a dupe for the mid-century planter from West Elm but I think they're only about a third of the price. I'll link both of those below for you. I don't know why I didn't order it when I ordered the cushions. I meant to and I must have just forgot, but I will be ordering two of those to replace the current white ones that originally were from Target. Other than that, the only other big changes that we'll be making to the living area for now is we're going to be painting the walls and we have chosen a color it is a shade of white just to really brighten up the space because i cannot stand the beige color that the walls are currently so we are planning on repainting the entire inside of our house over time and when we do start painting i'll make sure that i show you the color that we've chosen <laughs> if you haven't already because I do have a lot more home and interiors content planned for this channel so you can expect to see quite a few room makeovers in a lot more depth. This one was more of a redecorating and restyling video. As I said I will show you the additional pieces that I add to the coffee table and planters and that sort of thing so I could either vlog and show them in the vlogs or I can add them in on the end of other room makeovers. I would love to know which one you think I should do down in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.